So it's Philly Wine Week, and leave it to our Victoria Woodall <laughs> to take things to a whole new level. She's uh, learning the art of champagne savoring. <laughs> I know. I'm interested to see what this is. Yeah. Tori is live in Old City right now, and we do want you to be careful, Tori. That looked a little sharp, whatever that thing was you had in your hand. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm very, very much acquainted with champagne showers, um, but champagne savoring, I was taught for the first time today. That's right, it is Philly Wine Week. We are live at Panorama here in Old City, right off of Front Street. And uh, what we use that you'll see in a little bit is much larger than this. But if you look behind me, Philly Wine Week is filled with amazing events. Right now, we have a few amazing bartenders from the area that are doing a cocktail competition where you have to use wine. So a very exciting exciting way to see the ver different varieties that wine comes in one, but the ways it can be used in two. But there's also different ways that you can open bottles of wine, or in this case, champagne. I learned the art of sabering from an expert and learned some more about Philly Wine Week. Take a look. What's not to love? It's the best week of the year. It truly is. Philly Wine Week is underway and all about accessible wines for all, from bubbles to Bordeaux, from the uber expensive to the extremely affordable. Wines are whirling all over the city, just waiting to be loved. Oh, I love that. Oh, I gotta pay the meter again. I'll be right back. <laughs> this is not something that, uh, that should be too serious. It's not something that should be a mystery. Uh, it's meant to be shared, enjoyed and we want to have a great time with this. Now in its fifth year, William Eccleston says Philly Wine Week has grown as fast as grapevines, from their list of participants to variety of experiences. All over town there are wine flights, there's access to a variety of different wines and information without spending a, a fortune to be able to taste all kinds of great wines. So you can sip and savor the moment. I think you said savor the moment, but for a minute there I thought you said savor the moment. <laughs> well, we're about to. Helping us learn about the art of sabering champagne is wine expert Bob Trimble. Rumor has it that Napoleon, with all his conquests and wars, um, they had the Hussars, where it's where they're like cavalry. And after a victory, it was time for champagne, but... The Hussars didn't want to jump off the horse, so they'd whip out their saber and then cut the top of the bottle off. A process that takes finding the seam on a very cold bottle. Where that comes up, it makes this a real stress point on the bottle. You want to run the saber right up this stress point. Okay. okay, and if you do it right, whoa! Oh. All the pressure pushes any glass out, so now you can actually just have a nice glass of champagne and not worry about any glass in the bottle. It is my <laughs> honor. <laughs> I was absolutely amazed. I thought you used the saber to get the cork off, but no, you get the whole top of the bottle off. It was amazing. And also we stress not to try it at home. Bob had 30 years of experience of doing that. So that's why we used him and that's why they gave me this. I think this is better used on hors d'oeuvres. Now for the last leg of wine week, they are offering these incredible bottles of wine, which I can't pronounce. So Will, if you could help me, just tell me one of the names of these bottles that are that go for a thousand dollars a glass on Thursday. The Chateau Mouton Rothschild. So it's one of the first growths from Bordeaux, one of the most famous wines in the world, famous label. It's a wine that would normally cost at least a thousand dollars when it's aged almost 20 years to buy. We're going to offer it by the glass just for fun to really push the extreme access for Philly Wine Week all week long. It's all about access to big bottles at great prices serving a cost, but also some really extreme things that you'll never see by the glass anywhere else. So wow. Well, today has been extreme, Will, so thank you for that. And for more information, we'll put up a link on cbsphilly.com. But thank you for all that fun. Thank Girls, you. I'm going to learn that party trick, and then I'll be available <laughs> for the next party that you guys have. Yeah. Okay, just be careful. That's it. That's it. <laughs> Thanks, Tori.